Well, here we go, and welcome to Don't Starve Together. My name is Raf, and you're watching Haprican Time. Hopefully I'll keep that name, but at this point, I don't really know. But anyway, let's get started here. So this is Don't Starve Together. Uh, it's by Clay Software. Fantastic company. They have another game out called Oxygen Not Included as well, which we'll be playing sometime as well. But right now, we're going to play Don't Starve Together. And one of the major reasons why is this is the game that really got me back into gaming. It's a fun survival game, it's similar to Minecraft, uh, but not anything like it really. It's got this great 30s style. It's just a fantastic environment with crazy monsters and stuff. So as you can see, I've been playing for a while, so I have my own stuff here. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to use these defaults here, and let's get going. Uh, we start actually in a pretty decent area. I already got some flints, so we can actually build an axe. but. What I'm going to need to find right now is some grass, because by the end of this video, hopefully I'll be able to uh, prototype a log suit and a backpack. Those are the two major things that I always try to get done before I uh, <clears throat> start on anything else. And you know what, since we're right here, actually I can probably, yeah, this is kind of a risk here, but I should be able to get enough stuff so I can... Uh, build an axe as well because we'll need that pretty desperately here soon so one thing that you gotta keep in mind is up here if you see so survived one day the yellow part is gonna be day this is gonna be the evening where things kind of start winding out and night night is what we have to really make sure we uh, avoid getting stuck in because if we get stuck in the dark the Gru will get us and the Gru's pretty freaky the freakiest part we never see the Gru but he sees you. And that's one of the biggest problems for new players is trying to uh, avoid getting caught at night. Um, yeah, you don't realize just how important it is to make sure you have all your ducks in a row, you have food, you have basically protection from the dark, and you prepare for any encounters that you have. You don't want to take too many risks in this game right off the bat because that can backfire really bad on you. Yeah, so right now what we're doing is we're collecting gold because in order to prototype the log suit, we're going to need a science machine. So Wilson here is a gentleman scientist uh, who brought himself into this world. Um, there's other characters you can play as. I personally like um, Wolfgang, but for now we're just going to play as Wilson because when you get down to the bare bones of it he can grow a beard and the beard will protect you in winter from freezing to death which is actually a huge problem that you have in winter is temperature control. Different seasons you got different things that you gotta adapt to so that's one thing I'm really I really enjoy about this game. Right yeah here we go twigs we're gonna need grass though soon in fact actually I'm gonna have to skedaddle out of this area um, luckily we can actually see it on our map, which I believe is M. Yes, it is. So we're going to go up into the more grassy, uh, woody area to help protect us. And by the way, I like using the space bar to collect items and the... And also to fight too. Um, fighting is really hard in this game, but hey, I'm actually pretty decent at it. Oh, there's a piggy. You can actually become friends with them but for the most part. They don't like you. Yeah, see? He didn't like that. This is a little piggy house. They're really cool. Um, don't attack them, because they will own you. Uh, and stay away from them during the full moon. Because they turn to were pigs. Yes, there are were pigs in this game. There's also a character that's a were beaver. That's pretty fun. Uh, he's got an axe. He can chop down things pretty fast. But the side effect is, is that you can chop things down really fast and turn into a were beaver. Which is pretty cool, pretty badass, but uh, it can leave you kind of vulnerable, especially at night. So it's something that you want to try to manage and avoid because if you get stuck at night, you die. Unless you're the were beaver, but you know. Okay. So right now, what's happening is that it's evening now. So if there's rabbits out, you'll see them go away. You'll start seeing monsters like spiders and stuff. They'll start coming out. Oh, a desert biome. I love these. There's a volt goats here. These guys are cool. You can actually use their horns to make uh, lightning rods so lightning doesn't destroy your valuable and very precious uh, uh, 
buildings and structures that you can make. You can't go indoors, but you can at least... Ooh. We gotta be careful out here in the desert, because sometimes there's hounds. Okay. So, do we have enough for a torch? We do. Okay, good. I'll equip you for now. We're not gonna need you just yet. That's if we get stuck, because right now we're actually very low on uh, grass, because we need grass really bad. And actually, now looking at it, I haven't even collected any food yet, besides seeds. Oh yeah, the name of the game is Don't Starve, and it's unfortunately extremely easy to starve to death in this game. I really would not recommend uh, starving to death, because, you know, as a permadeath game, if you starve to death, there's some more grass right there. And also, I don't do this much, but you can actually switch angles. It's actually pretty useful, especially if you can't find something. Grass, yes. And what I really should start doing is actually chopping on some trees, because that would go really far, too. Hopefully no tree cards exist. I don't know if they've taken them out of the game, but I haven't seen one in a while. So that could be the pos that could be possible that, you know, they eliminated those monsters. If they did, well, more power to them, but I'm sure they replaced it with something else equally horrifying. Okay, we're almost at night, so that's why I have that torch out, because what I'm gonna try to do is uh really make sure and ensure that I um, have everything I need to build up to the log suit, because if I can get the log suit going, then, you know, I'll be protected pretty well. Um, if I get enough grass, then I can actually build the backpack too. They're not compatible together unless you use mods, but I will not be using mods in this playthrough. Also, we're going to see, ultimately, if we can get it to 365 days, so, I mean, that's not 365 videos, but it'll probably be about three days per video, so it'll just be an ongoing series just because I really do enjoy Don't Starve. Um, but we will be playing other games too, so this should come out uh, once a week, I think, this Let's Play. I don't know what else we're going to be playing, but it should be pretty fun. As you know, my channel, I'm trying to get focus on mostly, not completely, but mostly, uh-oh, it's night. The night times when the monsters come out, and if you hear that in the background, there's spiders. Yeah, we're going to stay away from them. We have enough for a second torch, so just to kind of get through here. I'm going to have a second torch, which Wilson will luckily automatically switch to. Okay, is there anything that we can burn down? No more twigs we can harvest. Sticks, twigs, I don't know what they're called, but I try... No. No, 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 no. That'll be useful later. Run before they start trying to eat my face. I'm taking a huge risk here because those guys are not nice. Hopefully we won't run into tall birds over here, but it's almost daytime, so that's the good news. The only biome that I'm a little short on right now is... Um, grass, so that's what we're going to have to do. So I have enough for a science machine, luckily, but... I need more resources. Let's see, there's a desert up there. We're gonna move south here, explore a little bit more. We have a decent amount of rocks. Rocks are really one of the things you wanna, ooh. Gold, so this is a spider's den. See that? There's a couple different tiers of it. You know, you don't wanna mess with them right yet. I don't even mess with the spiders until I get a log suit. Because like I said, it's permadeath. You get one shot at this, so you can be brave and bold. But you also can be stupid, and if you're going to be stupid, well, you're going to pay the price, because all your hard work will be for naught. Now, I'm about halfway um, through the food cycle, I mean the hunger cycle, so, oh yeah, don't step too much on this webbing too, because they will come out and zerg rush your ass. Zerg rushing, not so good. Okay, and paths. Paths are useful. So spiders eventually we're going to really need because they allow us to actually uh, get a uh, web resource. Okay, ponds, stay away from because there's frogs. So basically everything here wants to kill you. Keep that in mind. Or can kill you in some way. When, you know, you can kill them too. Nothing's immune from you. But 
you want to really make sure that if you're going to play, you play safe. Make sure you protect yourself, kids. But yeah, as we're going around through, we're getting all these grass resources. This is something I'm going to really need because I'm going to need rope. And uh, the lug suit takes a lot of rope to make. Ooh. Okay, I forget what this is for. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research to refresh myself because Don't Starve Together has a lot more content than the other ones. They stopped working on Reign of Giants, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't even know about Shipwrecked, really. Yeah, this is the biome that I like the most, the foresty. It's kind of the base biome. We start actually in a very odd place with a lot of like resources. Oh, by the way, you can never have too much flint because you're going to go through tools like crazy. Unless you use gold for tools, which you can. Oh, yes. So we're going to have plenty of food. See the frog? A little nasty little thing. Oh, gobblers. Uh, this is why we're going to have to get the uh, boomerang, because I hate gobblers with a passion. They compete with you for resources. They're also a good source of protein. And, you know, you kill them, maybe you'll get the crumpus. Who knows? But right now, let's replenish our... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get our veggies on, children. Now I gotta chase these guys because the gobblers literally will gobble up all their food. And right now, oh no! Get away from it! Ah! Oh, I hate gobblers. Run away! Run away! Run away! Bees! Okay, let's see if we can encourage the frog to kill the the frogs because there's multiple frogs. Kill the gobbler. Fish up away. Go toward the frogs. Go toward the frogs. Okay. And that's Qualfin footprint. So, we'll explore the Qualfin at some point later. Right now, I have to find a good area for a base. I uh, want it to be kind of centrally located. Because once we've established the base, then we're going to start prototyping. I have enough to make a semi-permanent settlement. Ooh, more grass. So as it gets toward the evening, then we're going to pick an area. We don't need it to be the best resourced area. But we're getting all the basics that we need. Um, let's see. Yeah, berry bush. Let's get the four goblins shows up. So, as it turns night, we're really going to start crafting. And then once I get the log suit and backpack, one of the reasons we're getting so much grass, by the way, is because we need a backpack. Because we are going to need to start stocking up on resources, and unfortunately what you can carry is not quite enough. Okay, moles eat um, supplies, by the way, so they're really annoying to have around. That's why you need chests and stuff, to avoid the moles from coming and stealing your stuff. They weren't in the original Don't Starve game, but I think they're great at... See, look, right there. I needed that. Stupid jerk face. Jerk face, mole face. It's okay. It's okay, Wrath. Be calm. Be calm. Keep calm. Play on. Alright. We've got so much twigs, we can't even stack them anymore. I want the same for grass. Okay, once it gets about 50% through the night here. Okay, we got 32. Can we get enough grass? I'm gonna have to... Sacrifice. Let's see. You hear that bang? My brother in law is just working on his car. Yeah. He's building a Falcon. I don't know what year, because I'm not that good with cars, even though I did work as a tow truck driver in the past. But we're going to take a looky and see. -y. All right. We've done it. There's moles. We've got a little bit of food. Now we just need to establish ourselves someplace decent and I think this biome is going to be it so we got to get a little bit of ways away because I don't want to mess with the uh, let's see where's some trees okay so we got a little path here okay this should be good so this is a nice central area we're close enough to the trees there's moles that's the only problem but we have some flowers around so let's set this up 
as our base camp. So, the first thing we're going to do is build a fire pit. Now, it's a little early. I usually don't like building this early, but we're close enough to some trees that I can get away with this. Yeah, okay. This will be a good central area. So now, what we're going to do is build our science machine right next. Okay. Now we can prototype a... Let's see. Let's go to survival first. Where's the backpack? Right, there we go. That's what we want. Let's prototype the backpack. Just do a classic one for now. We've got that. Let's prototype a shovel. Let's refine some rope. Another rope. And now we can hopefully prototype log armor and that used up all of our wood that was not smart of me okay let's build an axe all right quicker hurry up for the fire dies okay see that when he says it's so dark that's when the Gru starts coming after you so make sure you do not Kill yourself by going into the dark. Get away from that. Okay. We've done that. You know, meanwhile, I'm going to play through just a little bit longer. We'll do one more day. I know it's day three. But um, I'm going to chop down some wood. Then maybe establish a chest or two. Is that'll give us a supply drop that's actually in a kind of centrally located area. And now that I've chopped down these trees, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a little trick to reclaim a little bit more uh, wood. There we go. There's a pig not far from here, so luckily we can do some pretty good stuff. But as you can see, once you chop up the trees, you can dig up the last stump and get one extra piece of wood out of it. Which is why I like prototyping a shovel so soon. Yeah, there we go. A little trick that I learned playing this long term wise, so. I like to play things as efficiently as possible. Be as good as I can because, you know, hey, why not? It's fun. It's also fun to watch YouTubers who actually play the game effectively and appropriately. Uh, I don't know what appropriate would be, I just mean, oh, whoops, well, I might as well just start establishing a couple of twigs close by. We'll plant them. That was an accident, but might as well just roll with it, huh? Because what you can do is you can actually do agriculture in this game. All you need is poop. Poop is a very valuable resource. Pigs produce it if you feed them, and uh, so do beefalo. Currently, we haven't encountered any, so we're going to have to kind of take that as a you may and look for them later. That's where I'm more likely going to establish a more permanent residence because, you know, we're only on day three. We really should be fine for the, uh, for the, uh, duration of the, uh, I forget exactly when winter comes. We can build a machine that'll tell us, so we'll probably do that at some point. I don't know if I'm going to need the alchemy engine just yet, so that's going to require a lot of uh, uh, exploring, unfortunately, but we should. Okay, boards. Excellent. Now that we got them prototype, let's see how much it's going to take. Mini sign. This is what I'm going to need. Yes. So a chest, we're going to need three more boards. What else can we build here? Thermal measure, that's what we will need. So since that's so simple, what we're going to do is build just another one. Then we're going to build a chest. I'm going to have it just slightly away because, you know, fire danger is, is real. It can happen to you. Where did that thermal measure? We just need two boards. And one more. 
structure. Structure. Wait, structure. Science. Thermal measure. We'll build you over here. A little bit of space away. Alright, so we should be good. Thermal measure will tell us when. Nope, I don't want to do that. Thermal measure will tell us when we are going to need to desperately and importantly prepare for winter. Okay, so now it's the evening, so let's go get some more wood before we get ourselves in some trouble. Did we build the lug armor? Yeah, we did. I'll show you a trick that I like to do. I like to put it in the... Oh, let's eat the stale juicy berries. Because those were starting to rot. You gotta really pay attention to your resources. It's kind of hard, as they say, to... You know, focus on talking to people. And also playing the game at the same time. Um, so yeah, I do understand that it's not as easy to play. And I know I'm just earlier off in my career as a YouTuber here, a Let's Player, but yeah, we want to make sure that we manage our resources right, and that we don't starve ourselves to death, because that's the biggest thing that will kill you in this game, is just not paying attention to the most important things, like not starving, managing your resources, being okay overall with supplies. Oh, and uh, another thing too, I want you to notice at night the sanity meter goes down, so take a look right here. You see that sanity meter? Yeah, it's going down as it's dark. So that's another thing that you have to manage too. Is the sanity of your character. If you don't do that, well, let's just say scary things come out of the dark and they aren't something you can hide under the covers to avoid. Which would be the issue there. Okay. Well, looky looky what we've got here. We've got a clave system. Where we can go and visit the clave. <gasps> Yes! This right here, people, is really important. It's the eye bone. When you hold the eye bone, you get a very special little friend. And he's Chester! Chester, the chesting dog. I love you, Chester. Chester can hold things in his mouth. And he follows you around! So Chester's like one of the greatest things ever. Um, I need to get a plush for this. Get him right over there because I love Chester. He's hard to find, but man, does he extend your ability to do things. Oh, this is the happiest I've ever been, you know? I'm not, a, not even when my niece was born was I, I, I just love Chester that much. Just, I don't even care about my family. Just Chester is my best friend and I love him. I love him greatly and deeply. But yeah, now that we've got Chester, our survival chances just improved even greater because we don't always have to carry around our stupid backpack. Oh yes. All right. So now that we are all caught up, um, oh, we are just low on food. So let me start the fire. Let us cook some nice, wonderful, valuable resources here. Yes. Cooked food. Changes things a little bit. I think you get a little bit more. Yeah. It makes it so you actually get a little more bang for your buck out of them. So it's never bad to keep your character full. A lot of people will be like, oh, you know, I try to balance my food. But what if you get caught up somewhere without it? You have a better supply. You know? And I like to cook my stuff too because it tends to last longer. And if it lasts longer, then, you know, we're in kind of a better spot there. Okay. So I have only a couple rocks, a couple stones. Let's put on our uh, log armor, huh? Makes us drop our backpack. That's why I like actually putting the backpack, because then when you want to just put your backpack on, just store it in there, and then you put your backpack on. Nice and easy. We also can store other things in there, too. Alright, well, now that we've got some stuff going, I think we're going to call it a day right here. So, this is Raf, signing off, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!